Hello everybody, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Divinia Marketing and today we are going to create golden the vector logo design. This is a very easy technique that I am using to design this sort of logo design. So first of all, what I am going to do, I am using this pen tool and simply dragging a line. Basically, this line is will create the axis to create this logo. So I am pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl F and now simply taking and rotate this line to the 90 degree angle so it will be look like this now you can simply align it uh, in a vertical center uh, like this here and now uh, for to create a vector border so what we are going to do we are simply using this ellipse tool here and i'm creating a brush that i will use to design this uh, uh, border and here i'm filling it with the black color and just removing the stroke color from here and uh, now what i'm going to do i'm selecting it and uh, going to the pen tool and here you can use the convert anchor point tool by or by pressing shift you can uh, you can work with this i have just clicked uh, on the anchor point here and uh, simply convert into a pointed edges and uh, here i'm using the direct selection tool that is here and just simply select uh, you can click over it and here i'm using this handle here convert selected anchor point tool to smooth and now you can simply drag it like this to the output direction and now your brush is ready i just need to uh, stretch it uh, in a longer or dimension so you can see how it would be look like this and now I can simply uh, scale it down and, and uh, here you can uh, the brush is ready to drag into your brushes panel so go into the window here you can find the brushes panel here and simply drag it here and uh, create a new art brush press ok and method will remain tints and shares and the dimension is very important that is from left to right and uh, you can scale it down a bit to 55 percent and now it's ready here so you can see that the brush has been added in your brushes library and now i can remove it from here and uh, now we are ready to design the uh, the vector borders and uh, here i'm using the pen paint brush tool but before that you can simply double click on it and you can just adjust the fidelity and the smoothness of this uh, design this is very important its smoothness will remain uh, between the 8.5 to 12 pixels and the uh, fidelity will remain the 8.5 to 12 pixels and its smoothness will be zero percent you can go with these settings now and press ok so now i'm just uh, removing the fill color from here and in tag the uh, the stroke color to black here the stroke point will remain 0.25 and now you can simply start work on your design so what i'm going to do i'm simply taking this point and creating a, a, a you know a test uh, from you know design so you can see the lines are quite thick so i'm going to remove it uh, reduce it to 0.25 and then now we are set to to design the complete look of this logo so here i'm simply using these design format like this so this is very easy technique that you can use to design these sort of logo designs if you feel anything goes wrong or not according to your requirement then you can also resume it this is very easy way to design uh, these lines it, it seems like a difficult process but it's it is uh, it's not like that if anything goes wrong then you can press ctrl c here and you can resume it uh, and you can uh, do it again so uh, you can see that how i'm working with these lines so you don't need to be perfect if you have uh, just turned on the right uh, uh, you know fidelity options to your paintbrush so it will automatically create these sort of designs so this is not a very difficult process so what you have to do i'm just removing this line from here because creating a you know uh, so i'm creating a new line here like this so you can see how the design is forming after doing these things now simply taking this line here and now i want to create another look here and simply taking 
another point here and you can see how the design is look like after doing these things so as you can see the design is just uh, you know crossing the line axis here but there is no uh, problem because we want to create a, a straight look to this design so I think uh, if you want to keep it thick, then you can also do that, but it all depends upon your requirement. How do you want to go with this? So I'm now I'm removing the, but before removing the access, uh, I, I can just remove the access now. So it will be quite easy to watch all these steps uh, 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 that will lead to the complete design. So now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to the object and here I'm expand the appearance. So it will be look like this. And now I'm pressing Control C and Control F here and simply going to transform and reflect it to vertical axis and simply going to press OK. And now you can merge the design like this. And you can also press Control G so it will be quite easy if you want to make any changes or you can move it to all the layers together. So it will be looking like this now and now the next step that I'm going to do I'm simply creating uh, the uh, selecting the uh, overall design and here I'm pressing control C and control F again to place in same place and now you can rotate it with a 180 degree angle so it will be look like this and now you can simply move it down so here is the complete design that we have created and this is the actually lecture borders and now I have reduced the size and now I am just uh, removing this panel from here and uh, going into the switch library and here I'm using the gradients and gems and jewels and here you can use this a trine golden color from here and you can apply to your design and now I am creating a background layer that is uh, obviously the black color because black color will create more of uh, you know enhanced look to this design so I am just arranging send it to back and now we are going to as uh, we have uh, simply crop it uh, like this so crop it together and now I am going to select both layers here and uh, bring it the center so you can see how the design is forming like this and this is very simple and easy way to do all these things and now we are simply creating a you know uh, I'm just writing golden borders or golden logo so you can write it here and now if you want then you can make it bold as well and uh, now I'm simply creating into the outlines here and here I'm using this stamp picker tool or the eyedrop tool so uh, you can now you can simply uh, arrange it and blend the you know design here like this if you feel anything is I want to use this settings because the blending is very important because the background color is black so if anything goes uh, you know in darker shade then it will not enhance the complete look of this design so I will keep it in the middle so you can see how the design is look like after doing these things this is very simple and easy way to design these sort of vector borders and you can easily create it by using all your creativity so thank you so much for watching i will come back to another tutorial have a very good day subscribe to my channel and have a very good day bye, -bye.